Currently, China holds a global monopoly on rare earths. About 90% of electric cars use rare earths. However, a stunning discovery in the United States could change our dependence on China's rare earths. Here are the details. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. A major rare earth deposit under the Utah desert could fuel AI, weapons, and electric car batteries in the US. Now, this site includes 16 high-quality minerals, including critical metals such as gallium, germanium, and even lithium as well. So what are the details? Well, a US battery materials manufacturer has confirmed the discovery of a high-grade deposit of rare earth and critical minerals beneath the sands of Utah's desert, that could cut reliance on foreign supplies for these much needed critical minerals. Provo based Ionic Mineral Technologies, or Ionic MT, announced that independent assays have verified one of North America's most significant concentrations of rare earth elements and critical technology metals. Found in Ion absorption clay formations at the company's Silicon Ridge project, the deposit is really a game changer. Similar geological formations account for roughly 35 to 40% of China's total rare earth production and more than 70% of the world's heavy rare earth supply. Ionic MT said the 74,000 square foot site contains 16 different types of high quality minerals, including lithium, gallium, germanium, rubidium, cesium, vanadium, tungsten, as well as light and heavy rare earth elements, amongst others. The Silicon Ridge discovery is kind of a big deal. The firm said that data from 106 boreholes spanning more than 32,808 feet, which is 10,000 meters, together with 35 trenches across a 650-acre area, has revealed an average combined rare earth and critical metals grade of 2,700 parts per million in the clay fraction. This is enough to make it a massive discovery. This compares quite well, in fact, even with well-known Chinese iron absorption clay deposits, which grade between 500 to 2,000 parts per million. So, this means it has a higher amount of these metals than any of these deposits in China. The grade so far has been confirmed across just 11% though of the project area and to depths of around 100 feet. But this does indicate massive potential for expansion. We just don't know exactly how much potential there is at this point. This confirmation, though, is a watershed moment for American resource independence, said Andre Zetun, CEO and founder of Ionic MIT. He said that the deposit represents a rare opportunity to produce a wide spectrum of critical minerals within the US using a faster and cleaner extraction process than traditional hard rock mining. This is what he went to say. With our mining permits and processing facility in place, we can now move readily and quickly to production, reducing a key strategic vulnerability for the United States. Now, you might have known this, but Donald Trump recently had to negotiate with China to get rare earths of supply. You know, China said, well, if you're going to hit us with all these tariffs and say these mean things to us, then we're going to stop providing you with rare earths. So Trump had to kind of um, be a bit more diplomatic. And that was a, an interesting situation that really showed how dependent the US is on China for things like this. The company's method in the US in Utah, relies on low temperature iron exchange rather than high heat processing or heavy acids, with recovery rates up to 95%, which is extremely, extremely high. Utah is once again proving we have the greatest resources, vision, and determination to power America's future, said Stuart Adams, Utah Senate president. Now, I don't believe the Utah Senate president of Utah had anything to do with this, but he's certainly claiming that he did. The discovery comes amid growing concern, says interestingengineering.com over global supply chains. China has long dominated the rare earth market and imposed export restrictions on several critical minerals in recent years. Meanwhile, US officials have warned 
that shortages of key materials could disrupt advanced manufacturing, energy technologies, as well as electronics production too. The new site's discovery could finally shift production of AI, defense, and battery materials back to US soil. Our energy and national security depend on having a reliable supply of critical minerals, and Utah is uniquely positioned to lead the way, said Mike Schultz, Utah's House Speaker, in a press release. Ionic Mineral Technologies is helping us reduce dependence on foreign adversaries while creating new opportunities and long-term stability for Utah families and our economy. If you'd like to book a paid consultation, uh, you can do so, and I'll put a link in the description below. If you want advice on what electric car to buy, solar systems, all that kind of stuff, you can do that. Now, this comes right after a discovery last year of one of the world's largest reserves of lithium under the Great Salt in the Great Salt Lakes, in fact, in Utah. We're talking enough lithium to power millions of electric cars. So it's it's very interesting to see how Utah has become a, a kind of a shock location for some of the world's greatest resources of minerals. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments. Thanks for watching. Guys, if you want to install solar panels, a home battery or a home charger, the best way to do this for your situation is to go to the links in the description below and they'll take you to a page where you can compare everyone. So depending on where you, it doesn't matter where you live, a lot of people email me all the time saying, well, what solar system should I get? Who should I go with? What battery should I get? What electric charger should I get? Well, click in the links in the description and you can actually compare all the different choices and find the best deal for you. I'll put that link in the description below. Additionally, there is a battery savings calculator link and also a federal battery rebate calculator. I personally have found that I'm not paying for electricity at all, and that's including charging my two electric cars and also running my home power, my home sauna, um, nothing not paying anything at all. And I think a lot of people are getting misled. They think that getting a battery is not worth it. Actually, I think it is worth it. So those links are in the description below.